Hello, hello, good morning. Good morning, hello everybody, hope you're okay. Hi, hi, hi. Can you hear the pitter patter of the rain on my roof? Yeah, what's going on? Da, 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 da. What's going on? Let's just tilt you forward. How are we doing everybody? Hope everyone's okay. There we are. Good morning. Hello, Tim. Tim's a regular. Ava and Poppy and Ethan. Hello. Lots of names I know. Flory and Violet. Hello, everybody. Amanya and Sydney. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hope we're okay. I was so busy doing something else and I forgot I was on live this morning. Oh, dear me. Good morning, James and Thomas and Matthew. Lovely to see you all. Hello everybody. Thank you for coming to play with me today. So we're going to get started. It's a nice quick one but lots and lots of fun. Actually it's very funny that we're doing this today on such a wet day because we're going to make some little fishes. I wanted to make some to show you. Um, however I've run out of time. I forgot I was coming on live this morning. Good morning everybody. So this week we have been using um, kitchen foil all week for our activities. So I just wanted to show you that it's such a fab resource. Always worth having just a cheap roll in the um, in the house and then you can do loads of different activities. I love it for lots of arts and crafts. Really sensory, feels really nice and nice and shiny too. So we're gonna do a fun activity with our silver foil this morning. Uh, you're also going to need some pieces of cardboard. I've just got these scrap bits from um, a cardboard box. That would be absolutely fine. Oh, it's lovely to have you here. Hello, George. Uh, you're going to need a pair of scissors. As we're cutting cardboard, you might need your grown-up to help you with this because it's a lot pretty tough, this stuff, isn't it, to cut? Uh, but I'm sure your grown-up can help you. And then, depends what you've got. If you've got some felt tips, that's great. Or you might have some paint sticks because we're actually going to be drawing on the foil. So colouring pens probably won't work, it could actually rip the foil. So instead we're going to use pens or paint sticks if you've got them. I get lots and lots of questions from the mummies and daddies asking me about these. If you're a teacher, you'll know why I have these. There's just something about chunky marker pens and teachers, I don't know what it is. These are the Beryl colour markers. They're not cheap, I have to say, uh, but... Um, Yes, I'm quite, I'm quite precious with mine actually, but yes, I do look after mine. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Hope you're all okay. So we're going to get started this morning because it might take a little bit longer than normal, but not too long. So just to recap, you're going to need some cardboard, any scraps of cardboard you have, um, scissors, felt tips or paint sticks. The paint sticks are also really lovely for this activity if you do have some. Mine weren't to hand this morning and some kitchen foil. So we're gonna save our kitchen foil because we don't need it just yet. What we are going to do is we're gonna start by drawing a shape on our cardboard because today we're gonna to do some fish. We're gonna make some shiny fish. That's hard to say, isn't it? With my teeth, can you say that? Shiny fish. We're gonna make some shiny, actually they're gonna be shiny rainbow fish. You might have read the lovely, there is a lovely book called Rainbow Fish. If you've not read it, I'm sure there's a copy of it being read out on YouTube. Uh, you might want to watch later after you've had to go at making a nice rainbow fish. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely book. Okay, so grab one of your pens. And all we're going to do, I'm going to do it pretty big because then it makes it easier for cutting out. If it's too small and fiddly, it's hard to cut out. So I'm going to do a nice, big, very simple fish shape. So I wonder, can I have a go at drawing it first? This is why I wish I'd done a practice. <laughs> I'm going to draw it first and then it's your go, okay? So first of all, we're going to make a bit of a, like an oval shape, a bit like the shape like your eyes. And we're gonna have a go at doing a nice oval-ish shape. Already starts to look like a fish. Do you want to have a go and see if you can draw a really simple shape like that? It looks like a great big eye, doesn't it? But actually we're gonna turn it into a fish. Fish, fish, fish. Can you have a go on your cardboard? Have a go at drawing a nice big eye or an, like a bit of an oval. I don't know what the real name is for when it's like a 
pointy oval. I wonder if anyone knows out there, you'll have to let me know if there's a more official name for it than an eye shape. And then let me know once you're ready and we'll do the next bit. Hello. Good morning. Hello, monkey socks. You've been watching for a long time. <laughs> I definitely, it's lovely when I get to recognise the names that pop up. I've seen many, many times. Oh, well done. Well done. Well done, guys. Sounds like you've all done a really good job at drawing. It already looks a little bit like a fish. All we're going to do now is have a go at drawing on a tail. So once again, it's going to be my go for drawing on the tail and then it's going to be your go. Okay, and all I'm going to do on one of the ends, doesn't matter which one you do it, I might do it here actually and then I've got the nice straight bit. Uh, no, I'll do it the other side. A bit like a triangle. So I'm going to do a nice big line and then I'm just going to join it onto it. It's a bit like a triangle. Can you see? Actually, if I draw it like that, you'll be able to see how it is like a triangle. So I've drawn a bit of a triangle at the end and that's going to be the tail. Now, you don't have to do a triangle tail if you don't want to. Your tail could be any shape you want. In fact, you could do any shape you fish you want. And once we've done this, you might be inspired to do other different animals. An octopus would be really nice, but it might take a long time to cut out eight legs, mine not it? Um, good morning. So we're drawing a nice big oval like an eye. Oh, someone's saying that they're not well. Feeling poorly at the moment. Oh, monkey socks, I hope you're okay. Get better soon, lovely. Doesn't help with this miserable weather, does it? Nice big oval and then it's roughly a triangle shape. Okay, and I hope you're getting on all right with that. And then, once you've had a go at that, that's all you need to draw for your fish. It's get, we're keeping it very basic because we're going to decorate it after. Okay, so don't worry about decorating it just yet. And then, as always, we're going to use our scissors and we're going to very carefully cut out our fish. Now, what do I say about scissors? I always say be really careful using scissors, please, guys. Take your time, no rush, watch those fingers. And if you've got chunky cardboard like I do, it's quite tricky. So have a little go, but if it's getting a bit too hard, maybe you could ask a grown up to help you. And all we're going to do is just cut around our fish shape. Try not to chop the tail off. Otherwise our fish will find it hard to swim in the sea, won't they? That's it. So I'm just very carefully cutting out my fish like I said, you could do any shape on yours. It doesn't even have to be a fish. Just this, this kitchen foil, this silver kitchen foil, just reminds me of the shimmery scales that you get on, that you see on fish when they're swimming in the sea. And like I said, anyone that's just tuned in, there's a lovely book called Rainbow Fish. And if you don't have a copy or haven't seen it, I'm sure... I'm sure there is a version of it on YouTube being read out by somebody. The magic of YouTube that you could maybe watch it after you've had a go at making your rainbow fish. So can you see, just cut out my fish shape. Whoop! My fish shape, it's the jumping fish. So I've got a nice big body and a nice big tail. And then, oh, I wonder if you could send me a fish emoji once you're ready with your cut out fish could you send me a fish emoji once you're ready with that i've gotten my cup of tea this morning and i have to have one afterwards aren't i can you hear the can you hear the rain i don't know if it's loud enough for you to hear it but my goodness pitter patter today oh i've got a, i've got a fish emoji i think someone's ready yeah we'll have to start using our fish emoji won't we so you've cut out your fish fantastic well done guys we've got some nice fish like i said after we've done the video maybe you can make some more you can make some great big fish like a shark or a whale or a dolphin you can make some tiny little fish like a little goldfish you could do all sorts of fish do all sorts of different animals, can you? Maybe a jellyfish. They're nice and shimmery in the water. Starfish, octopus. Do all sorts of different... In fact, it doesn't have to be water animals. I just found that this kitchen foil, I just think it's nice and shiny. 
lent itself really nicely to fish. Okay, I think we're ready because I've got lots of fish emojis, which is fabulous. Fishy fabulous. Okay, all we're going to do now is we're going to need a piece of foil, kitchen roll, that's big enough to wrap around our fish. So perhaps a grown-up can help you. I am just ripping mine. The easiest way to do it. That's why I like working with kitchen foil is that it's nice and easy to rip. So if you place your fish on your on your foil and you can just rip it bigger than the fish. Because so can you see that's done it quite big? Because we're going to wrap our cardboard fish in the foil. Can you see? We've done it quite big, just a rough square-ish shape. And all we're going to do, carefully wrap up our fish. And that's the beauty of this, is that you don't even need scissors or glue to do this bit. The only thing is around the tail, it does get a little bit fiddly. You might need to put a little cut in it to get it to get wrap around the tail. And you'll just to define the tail, I'll show you what I mean. So you can wrap it around your cardboard. In fact, you can do this with all sorts of animals. You could do this in nice big round faces, couldn't you? I'm going to put a little cut in, just because when I've wrapped up my fish, you can't quite see the tail. So I'm just putting a little cut in the sides, just so that you can to define the tail. But you could also do this with numbers. You could do this activities with the letters from your name and make a sign to go on your bedroom with shiny letters from your name. And there you go. Can you see if you have a nice shiny fish? Oh, they look lovely already, don't they? You can imagine my fish swimming in the sea, jumping in the water. They're lovely, aren't they? And like I said, we could do anything with these. They don't have to be fish. Just seen as it's such a wet day, the fish will like it, won't they? They ducks up. The ducks will like this weather. So all I've done is just wrapped it around. Don't need any glue. Just give it a good pinch. There we go. And then finally, hello Amelia. It's come to say hello. Hello Amelia. Once you've got your fish, all we're going to do, if you've got some felt tips. Or maybe some of the paint sticks. Paint sticks are lovely. You can get them for a really reasonable price. Very nice way, grown-ups, of doing mess-free painting. I really do love them. The little Brian paint sticks are fab. I know some supermarkets are starting to do similar ones. Um, I'm just going to use felt tips for this. And all we're going to do is decorate our fish. And we could make it rainbow colours. We could make it stripe. I've got a yellow jumper on, actually. I'm going to do, put some yellow on mine. You could do a spotty fish. You could do a stripy fish. In fact, there's a brilliant book called Hooray for Fish that has lots of different types of fish in. You could do a unicorn fish, a dinosaur fish, transformer fish. It does look a bit like a transformer fish, but you're nice and shiny, doesn't it? And all you're going to do is use your pen and you can start to decorate your fish because it's really nice to paint and draw on the silver foil. It has a really unusual texture. I'm just putting on some wiggly wavy lines on the tail to make it look like my fish is swimming in the sea. And you can draw up, maybe you could give your fish a nice little smiley face. You, I'm going to give my fish a little eye actually so that you can see where it's swimming. Hooray for fish, yeah it's a lovely book isn't it? putting on a little eye on my fish how are your fish looking and i'm going to give my fish a big smiley face because my fish is a really happy fish happy 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 swimming in the sea it's not a scary one could make a scary one if you wanted to couldn't you could make a scary fish but i've got a nice happy fish and then i'm going to start giving him some stripes so i am going to leave you there we go, let's give him some rainbow stripes, do another colour. I'm just having a jolly old time now. No, these aren't permanent pens, no, just marker pens, felt tips. Just drawing onto the silver foil. Normal, chunky felt tips, chunky ones work quite well. Paint sticks are really nice if you've got paint sticks, anything like that. 
Right, okay, so I'm gonna let you carry on making your lovely fish, decorating them. Do let me know if you decide to make any other types of animals or fishes and things. There we are. Oh, you can't really see the colours on there. That's a shame. He has got rainbows, I promise. You can sort of see his stripes on there. Anyway, my happy fish is going to go swimming now in the sea. So I'm going to finish there then, guys. I hope you have a lovely time making your little shiny fish, your rainbow fish. Do go and check out the books, Hooray for Fish and Rainbow Fish. If you, don't get, if you haven't heard of those before, they're really lovely ones. I'm sure you'll be able to watch them on YouTube. Um, thanks for tuning in. Nice to see you. Tomorrow we'll be going to be doing little something for Father's Day. So I'll let you know what you need for that later. Okay? All right. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Lovely to see you. Do you send me your photos of your little fish as well. It'll be fab to see what you've made. And I will see you all later with your fish. Bye, guys. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow.